Hello, good evening, Marisol. Mm, your audio is being connected. Let's wait. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mayra. How are you? I'm tired because I'm running, running, running. Really? I know. Poor Mayra. Sabe que eh, a esta hora se dice good afternoon y yo le acabo de hablar a Marisol, pero le estaban conectando el audio, right? Y le dije good evening, que es en otra hora y yo después, ay, no, qué pena. <laughs> De, desde las cuatro en adelante, y bien inverta. Exactly. Y en la noche, supongamos que usted entra a un curso en la noche, no puede decir good night, tiene que decir good evening. Good, good? good evening. Good evening. Solo se puede decir good night cuando ya usted va directo a dormir. A la cama. Exactly. Vaya, Mayrita, en Marisol, vamos a esperar unos cuantos minutos a ver qué otros compañeros se conectan, ¿no? Right? Voy a dejar aquí la PPT, pero siempre vamos a esperar a ver qué otros compañeros se conectan, right? All right, let's see. Solo voy a mandar un mensaje al grupo y vamos a comenzar con la clase.
All right, let's get started. So today is Wednesday, October 6th, 2021. Where are you from, right? We're still on section three. We are in class seven. Hey, look at you, miren eso, ya mañana tiene su clase number eight. Y de ahí solo les queda otro clasecita ya. And then you're leaving to the next course. Let's move on. We have these exercises. Tenemos estos ejercicios para practicar, pero no los voy a poner ahorita. <laughs> Porque necesito que se conecten más para tener más participation, all right? So let's get started. Vamos a practicar con esto. Ayer veíamos el uso del negative statements. Yes, no questions with me. ¿Verdad? Entonces, vamos a practicar de nuevo con esto para que no nos vaya a fallar cuando ya nos toque hacer a nosotros oraciones. Let's see, Mayra, Lisette, can you please read sentences one, two, and three? I'm not from New York. You're not late. She's not from Russia. Excellent, thank you. Very good pronunciation. Repeat after me, Russia. Russian. Russia. Russian. Uh -huh. Russian. Russian. Mm -hmm. Very good. Continue, Alba Torres, with four, five, and six. Um, he's not from Italy. He's not English. We're from Japan. We're not from Japan. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. thank you. Repeat after me, Alba. Italy. Irani. No, Italy. Iran. Mm -hmm. Italy. Excellent, thank you. Continue, Ember Dominguez, please, with seven and eight. Maybe he's not there. Let me see. Seven and eight, please. You're not early. You're not in Mexico. They are not in Mexico. All right, excellent, thank you. Now, vamos a hacer esto. Ven ustedes estas preguntas ayer? Las hicimos por separado, right? Eh, pronunciamos las preguntas por separado, pronunciamos las respuestas por separado. Ahora vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Uno de ustedes va a preguntar y el otro va a responder de acuerdo a yes or no. All right? Si esto es verdad para ustedes, you can use yes. If it is not true, you use no. Okay? Let's see. René Giron, ask question number one and two to Mayra, please. Are you from California? No, I'm not. I sure answer. No, I'm um, not. I are... Repeat, am please. I, am I early? Yes, I am. Right. Let's see. En este caso, René está preguntando si él llegó temprano, right? Oh, no, you are. <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> you are late. <laughs> All right, don't worry. Welcome. All right, thank you, eh, René y Mayra. Very good. Now, Alba Torres. Usted va a preguntar these two questions, esas dos preguntas, to Ember Dominguez, please. Okay? Action. Alba Torres, usted pregunta. Is is she is his from Chile? Is no, excuse me. What happened, Alba? Tiene que preguntar estas dos. Is she? Is he? Is it Korean? 
All right, let's check. Let's change the dynamic then. Ember, you ask. Alba, you answer. Ember, usted pregunta estas dos. Y Alba, usted responde estas dos. Sigan, aquí está la estructura, right? No nos perdamos, no nos confundamos. Action, Ember. Is she from Brazil? She's not from Russia. Okay, aquí está la estructura de Alba. Yes, she is. Oh, no, she's not. Usted decide cuál de esas dos. Mm. Yes, she is. All right. Is she from Chile? Mm, no. He's not. Exactly. Thank you very much. Mayra, you asked to Amber, please, uh, the following two questions. Is it Korean? This one. Yes, it is. Are you from China? China? No. No? No. All right, excellent. Very good. Notan ustedes aquí algo. Aquí dice, are you from China? Y la respuesta que es, no, we're not. No, we're, yes, we are, or no, we're not. ¿Por qué da esta respuesta? Porque este you, ustedes lo van a encontrar dos veces en las tablas de los subject pronouns. Porque ese you se utiliza para plurales y singular, right? Yo siempre voy a decir you are, o en este caso, are you, pero puede ser en plural o en singular, all right? Lo, es, lo único que si es en singular, yo no le voy a cambiar el, el are, ¿verdad? Yo no puedo decir you is, no. Siempre lo voy a dejar con are, that's correct, thank you. Let's see, and the last two questions. Um, let me see. Alba Torres, Alba, usted va a preguntar estas últimas dos. Preguntas que tenemos aquí. Tú, René Girón, please. Okay. Um, are we late? Are they in Canada? Esperemos a que nos dé la respuesta. A veces cuesta que abran los micrófonos porque se nos traba el mouse o el audio, ¿verdad? Let's see, René, are you there? René, are you there? Okay, maybe he has issues with the mic. Mm, sí, es cierto, pide permiso. <laughs> All right, don't worry. Um, ask me, Alba. Usted me pregunta a mí, Alba. Are we late? Mm, yes, you are. Are they in Canada? No, they are not. All right. Thank you, Alba. With this, con esto estamos mejorando la pronunciation. Entre más practiquen ustedes, mejor o más comprensible va a ser la pronunciación. All right. Remember that in questions, más adelante ustedes los van a ver, creo que en la section four, van a ver la entonación, porque no es solo de que, ay, si yo me puedo las preguntas y ya sé cómo formularlas. También esto requiere de entonación, right? and pronunciation. All right, with that being said, let's move on. Tenemos esta structure. Ayer veíamos cómo hacer oraciones, sentences, utilizando esta structure. Decíamos que podemos tener un subject plus verb to be plus not. Ese not tiene que ir. Aunque mi cerebro sea negativo, pero si yo no le pongo not, la persona no va a saber que es negativo, right? That's the structure that we were watching yesterday. Let's see. Luego veíamos de estos examples. Y luego ustedes crearon sus propios ejemplos, right? You remember? Yes. All right. Now let's move on to the following. Formula or structure. Just no questions with the verb to be plus subject plus complement, right? Estamos haciendo un review. Creo que esta no la vimos ayer. It's a structure. Let's see. Tenemos yes, no questions with me. Ya veíamos cómo hacer las oraciones. 
Ahora aprendemos cómo hacer las eh, questions, right? <laughs> Right, give me one second. All right, so let me see. Ember, tell me what's the structure? ¿Cuál es la estructura para hacer oraciones? Digo, para hacer questions. Yes, no question with B. With B. Mm -hmm. Ver to B plus subject plus complement. Mm -hmm. Excellent. ¿Y qué me hace falta aquí? Veamos. ¿Qué creen que me hace falta para hacerlo? Questions. Question. Excellent. Bravo, Mayra and Amber. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to add the question mark. Basic and simple as that. Now, if you already copy this structure, let's move on to the following. We have guiding examples. Just no questions with B. Okay, let me write it down, the numbers, así nos guiamos mejor. All right, there you have it. We have four questions and therefore we have four answers, right? Let's see, René Giron, uh, let me see. Can you please read number one, the question and the answer? Are you from Australia? Yes, I am. That's correct, thank you. Mayra, number two. Am I your friend? No, I'm not. Excellent. Am I your friend? No, I'm not. <laughs> All right, thank you. Alba Torres, number three. Is she from Mexico? Yes, she is. Excellent, thank you. Ember Dominguez, number four. Are Maria and Williams friends? Uh huh. And the answer? La respuesta? No, they aren't. That's correct, thank you. All right. Ustedes se fijan, cada subject que yo voy utilizando en las questions me ayuda a saber con qué subject voy a contestar las preguntas, right? Let's see. You can take notes of these examples because then you will practice, right? Okay, let's move on. Practice time. We have instructions. Can you please read the instructions, Marisol Galdames? Marisol, is your audio working? Well, maybe it's not. Mayra, can you please read the instructions? Instruction. Work individually. Create three questions using yes or not question with B. Share your sentence with the class. That's correct. Thank you. All right. Let's create it, please. Ya vieron la structure. Ya tenemos los examples. Ahora es momento de crear.
everyone, me regalan un segundito, ya regreso, ok? Voy a apagar la cámara y el audio, pero ya regreso. Yo tengo una duda. Cuando yo pongo a Ardara en Sophie, ¿el verbo es play o playing? No, play. Es que el verbo es play. Pero como estamos en present simple, como estamos en presente simple, eh, hay que poner play. Uh -huh. Pero, Thank ¿qué you. sucede? ¿Qué sucede? En esa oración usted está haciendo progresivo. Una acción que está pasando en este momento. Usted está preguntando si ellas están jugando, ¿verdad? Right? ¿Qué se quiere preguntar? Entonces, Ajá. si se quiere preguntar, la opción es progresiva. Ya dice playing. Ah, uh, ok. Thank you. Voy a ponerlo playing. No hay ningún problema, ¿vale? If you have any questions, si tienen dudas de vocabulary o de la structure, pueden preguntarme, right?
All right, have you finished? <clears throat> yeah. All right, excellent. I finish. Excellent, very really good. Let's get started. Let's see Rene, share your sentence, please. Your questions. Are you from Spain? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Is she is she tall? No. She is not. Uh -huh. Are you sorry? Are we late? Yes, we are. All right, that's correct. Thank you, Lynette. That's logically and it's great. Thank you. Very good. What about Maida? Share your questions, Maida. Are they your children? Yes, they are. Is Elvin at home? No, he isn't. Are you named Susan? Yes, I am. Excellent. Very good. That's correct. Thank you. Somebody else? Let's see, alguien más que también ya terminó? Hi. All right, Amber, tell me your questions. Are you and me the best friends? Yes, we are. Are you from Guatemala? No, I'm not. Is Roberto near from store? Yes, he is. That's correct. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Let me have Alba Torres. Creo que ya terminó, ¿verdad, Albita? Yes, it's All right, tell me. Um, is he exercise in the park? Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. Are they watch TV in the morning? No, are not. I am your study in the afternoon. Yes, I am. All right, very good. Todas les hizo progressive. It's okay, all right? Eh, no se preocupe, más que todo con esto de las questions, se tiende a hacerlas en progressive, pero tenemos que aprender a hacerlas sin necesidad de utilizar el pro, la progression, right? Porque todavía no estamos ahí en present progressive. Por ejemplo, are the keys in front of the computer? Podemos utilizar propositions of, of place también. Are the keys in front of the computer? Um, is my car in front of your house, right? Podemos utilizar different vocabulary. Excellent, everybody. Thank you so much. Let me see. Let's move on. Le comentaba a Mayra porque fue la primera que se conectó a la clase. Le estaba, conectando, le estaba comentando que tenemos unos exercises que me gustaría que ustedes utilicen para practicar. All right. Entonces yo les voy a dar el tiempo que ustedes necesiten y lo vamos a hacer aquí. ¿Por qué? Porque si necesitan ayuda o preguntas acerca de algo, yo les puedo ayudar. All right. So let's get started. 
Podemos comenzar ya. Estas, this, la instrucción dice, rearrange, rearrange the sentences. Hay que ordenar o reordenar las oraciones, right? Algunas de estas son questions y hay otras que son only sentences, right? Algunas están en negative y algunas están en affirmative. What does mean eh, how pronunciation kinel? And on the where in the na, nine sentence that is the do in the kennel. 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 That's correct. Excellent. What does meaning? Okay, so kennel, it could be like a small house for dogs, oh, right? Okay. A place where the right. dog could be. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, now listen, Mayra. I also find out, también encontré esto. Puede ser perrera, right? Perrera. If we're talking about dogs, it's perrera. A place where they take them. Hi, teacher. I finished. Excellent. Very good. That was fast. I'm finished. Yay, excellent. Really good. Me, me too. Excellent. All right. We're going to get started. Let's just wait for Alba. Alba Torres, have you finished?
All right, let's wait one more minute and then let's get started, all right? Teacher, in the number the sentence and both five five. Which one? Number four, five. Five, oh, five. Two. Two. Hay dos iguales, cinco y cinco. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's double it up. It's uh, doublement. It's double it up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Bueno, gracias por recordarme esto. I was just forgetting about it, right? Pero lo voy okay. a tomar en cuenta el momento en que le hagamos. Voy a decir. Okay. Five first, <laughs> the first number five, la primera número, número cinco, all right? Excellent. <laughs> yeah, there are two. All right, let's get started. Let's see, Rene Giron, what do you have for number one? I am not a teacher. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Easy peasy, right? Very easy. Let's see. Alba Torres, what do you have in number two? Number two. She is my mother. Mm -hmm. and that's correct. Thank you. Mayra, number three, please. Are the boy is happy? Are the boys happy? <laughs> Excellent, very good, very good. Amber, number four. The girl is in the room. Mm -hmm. That's correct, thank you. Number five, Mary. We're not at home. That's correct, indeed, thank you. Number five again. La otra número cinco, por favor, Alba Torres. My dad is smart. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Amber, number six. My mother is a housewife. Thank you. Mayra, number seven. She is not my sister. Mm -hmm. uh, Rene Giron, number eight. Is the teacher angry? Mm -hmm. That's correct, thank you. And Mary, number nine, please. The dog is in the kennel. That's correct, thank you. All right, everybody, there you have it. They were feeling pretty easy, right? ¿Las sintieron fáciles? ¿Las sintieron que se podían trabajar? Yes, no? Yes. 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 Very good. Very good. Entonces creo que aquí ya no hay ningún vacío con el uso de estas structures, right? Basically, this is simple present. Miren, les voy a decir algo. En el simple present, Hay eh, muchas cosas que varían, hay muchas cosas que cambian, right? Podría parecer que porque es simple present es fácil, pero tiene muchas reglas gramaticales. Y esto en sí es como el principio, right? Podríamos decir. Más adelante en otros cursos ustedes van a volver a ver el simple present de una manera más, eh, ¿cómo se los digo? Más, más a fondo, right? Let's continue. We have this syllable stress, right? With this, we're basically only practicing the numbers. Listen, if you were working on the platform by now, you know this pronunciation, but still we need to practice here in the class, right? La primera vez los leo yo, la segunda vez ya van todos ustedes, right? Let me see, quiero que se fijen bien donde yo hago el syllable stress, right? El syllable stress es casi como el acento, podríamos decir, right? Donde se le va a dar más realce a la palabra. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. In this case, it's 15, 16, 
17, 18, 19, 20. Notice in this line, fijémonos en esta línea, en esta fila. Más que todo, la intonation cae en el teen, right? Ahí es donde va más que todo el syllable stress. Then let's go, let's move forward. 21. Ok, listen. Aquí dice 21. Pero también está la pronunciación de 21. 22. Right? Ustedes deciden cuál es más factible para ustedes. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Let's go with the following. 40, 50, 60. 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 102, 103. All right? Now, my dear students, it's your time to practice. Ahora les toca a ustedes practicar. Voy a comenzar con René Giron, please. Tell me the numbers. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 39, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 102, 103. That's correct. Thank you. Thank you, Rene. We're doing great the intonation. Let's just do not forget that in this one is 21, 20, uh, 22. Or you can say 21, 22, all right? You decide. Let's go with Maria Montano, please. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 102, 103. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, Mary. Very good. Now let's go with Amber Dominguez. Eleven, twelve, fifteen, fourteen, seventeen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. 90, 100, 101, 102, 103. All right, excellent, thank you. All right, let's move on. Let me tell you something. Esta tablita <clears throat> con estos numbers, porque es por demás decir, thank you, Amber, it was great, your pronunciation. Es además decir que a veces se nos pueden olvidar algunas cifras, right? Entonces, para que ustedes practiquen, yo les recomiendo eh, voy a enviar esta PPT al grupo para que ustedes la tengan y ustedes pueden sacar una impresión de eso. Si gustan y la tienen en su cuaderno de anotaciones. Right? Porque eso lo tienen en la plataforma, pero creo que cuando vayan avanzando de curso en curso, no sé si lo van a continuar viendo esto. Right? Pero para que lo tengan y siempre estén practicando con eso, 
you can print it. Let's move on. Mayra, your turn. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 102, 103. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. All right, just as a review, let's keep into mind. Let's go with Alba Torres. It's your turn. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 100, 101, 102, 103. That's correct. Thank you very much, Alba. All right, everybody. Let's just keep in mind this one. I don't know if you will be able to see it, but it says 13. That's when it stress. That's where we have the stress in team. 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 16, right? We need to keep, you will have a better view of this on your video. Let's take into consideration those bubbles that we have in there. Those are the accents, right? Those are the syllable stress. Syllable stress. Now let's move on with numbers and ages, right? Ages as it is, numbers and ages. Let me make this a little bit bigger for you. Okay. Let's see, let's get started. We have Emma and Jill. Mm. Let's see, Maria Montano, you are Emma. Ember Dominguez, you are Jill. Action. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, wow. Oh, is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. He Yes, he is. And he is very smart, too. And who's that? My sister, Tammy. She's only 12. She's the baby of the family. That's correct, thank you. All right. Now, let's listen to this question. How old, old is he? How old is he, right? Let's try to give the intonation. Let's remember that we have question marks and punctuation marks and we need to respect them, right? Tenemos signos de puntuación y tenemos que respetarlos. Por ejemplo, who's that? Wow, he's cute. Vamos haciendo las pausas, right? Let's go with Mayra. You are Emma. And Rene Giron, you are Jill. Action. Who's that? She's my brother. Wow. He's cute. He's cute. What's cute. his name? Cute. He's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh. How old is he? He's, he is 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. 
Yes, he is. And he is very smart. And who's that? My sister Tommy. She is only 12. She is the baby of the family. That's correct. Bravo. Excellent. Everybody, thank you. Now, let's check this. I'm going to be Emma, and I'm going to choose some of you to practice again this pronunciation, right? Let's see. Um, Alba Torres, you are, let me see. You are Jill. I'm Emma, right? Who's that? He is my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He is 21 years old. What's he like? What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. Um, he's very smart too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only twelve. She's the baby of the family. All right, excellent, really good. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. Let me tell you this. Como vamos con los ejercicios de la plata? Let's see. Ya avanzamos con la section three. Yes, I finished. You already finished. Ya terminó la section yes. three. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. What about the other ones? ¿Qué tal los otros? ¿Cómo vamos? I today started. All right, you start today. All right, pretty good. What about Mayra in Alba Torres? What about you girls? You need three. Mm -hmm. You need three. Yes. ¿Ya la comenzó? Yes. Is the Alba? No, hoy comenzaría. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. Si sí, no se queden atrás, porque si no, eh, recuerden que ustedes están siendo supervisados por InsaForb y Inglés Corporativo. Entonces tienen que comenzar esto ya porque de hecho mañana vamos a terminar esta sección completamente y mañana también les voy a ayudar a hacer el review del midterm, right? Para que no les cueste tanto el midterm. Así que ya para okay. mañana tendrían que tener a eh, section 3 and that ya tendrían que tenerla finalizada para mañana, right? All right everybody, that was pretty much it for today's class. It was a pleasure to see you and to have you in class, right? Nos vemos mañana. No olviden, mañana es la última clase de la semana, no del curso. All right. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye.